the problem here? So I checked my emails and it had an order that I never ordered. So then we told him that it wasn't me that ordered the pizzas. So that's when we called the head office of Pizza 73 and told him that anyone with the name Justin or Vicky cancel the orders. The mm-hmm. suspects that are ordering the pizza are actually obviously using technology to spoof his number, which they know. Um, so when they call it, it's coming up as him. I never dated anyone, so <laughs> it's not that. I hope karma gets you someday and delivers pizza to your house. I mean, it could be worse things to get delivered to your house. Well, you know, when Dookie and I were kids. Who's Dookie? My buddy Dookie, my childhood buddy oh, right. Dookie, uh, we would send Chinese food, hundreds of dollars in Chinese food, to, and then s- stand across the street oh, you, hiding. <laughs> you, guys, you, you guys were sc- scoundrels. Man. I think the you same are. guy that texted me that he was in a gang, that he was sending Chinese food to people. Yeah. Oh, t- rough and Bill, tough. Bill has a lot of stories. We don't yeah. know what's true okay. and what's not. Uh, go ahead, Winnie. <laughs> okay, I have a question for the room. Billy, don't answer since you've claimed you never throw up in your life. If you guys throw up, do you brush your teeth after? You have to, don't you? Okay. Lise? All right. Well, if you're throwing up, it probably means that you're really sick mm-hmm. and that you're going to continue to throw up. So what I do is is that I just splash water in my mm. mouth and rinse it out mm. and then pray I don't throw up again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Justin? Uh, well, I know the answer. So, oh. Yeah. I, I do brush my teeth. Well, if it's like a one-off, not if I'm like continuously like, yeah. bo- like if I, I brush my teeth right away, that's, I want it out my mouth. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's a one-off. Yeah. But usually if you're throwing up, you're going to be yeah. continually throwing up. Mm. Well, a dentist in England says you shouldn't brush your teeth after. What? You never brush after you've just vomited. This is because the contents of the stomach are extremely acidic and the mouth is in a very acidic state. So if you brush straight after, you're basically wearing away your enamel. You should never brush straight after breakfast. This is because if you brush your teeth, you're rubbing that acid on the tooth which is a mineral and it can wear it down don't brush your teeth after you've just had sweets wait at least 60 minutes this is because when you've just eaten sweets the mouth has digested it into an acid and that acid is going to get rubbed on the teeth and destroy the enamel that second part i did not i did not know that either either. after you eat sweets you should wait an hour i didn't know the first part either yeah don't brush after a vomit because it'll take the enamel off makes sense and you know it's a big issue with my son he's seven you know trying to get a seven-year-old to brush his teeth yeah and i'm always like at night at nighttime well you know after five feet to sweet brush your teeth after (laughs) now i have to wait (laughs) you gotta wait uh lisa what have you got okay a woman shares how her mother gets free snacks and gift baskets from hotels by simply asking for them. Yeah, you know who's going to be doing this next trip. That is me. Looking right at her. Every time I'm traveling, my mom calls the hotel to like do something special for me, even if it's like not a special occasion. I'm in Vancouver right now, traveling for work, and my mom called the hotel and had them put together a little gift basket. Just checked into my hotel and look at this. <laughs> Literally from my mom for free. Not only did I get free snacks, but they also wrote me a little card. You or your mom isn't calling the hotel every single time you travel. You're doing something wrong. Oh, wow. wow. What a yeah. great get idea. A little, get a little that's snack a, waiting for you That's in the a room. great idea. So wow. you could essentially call as your as a mother yes. ahead of time of you going. So you call for yourself, but mm-hmm. say it's your mother, yeah. and you get a free basket. I love oh, that. Yeah. It's a little hustle All for right. you. All right. I like that. New Hampshire man facing several charges after police say he shot a gun in the breakdown lane when he ran out of gas and that he was also driving under the influence. We've got some of the audio from the scanner. With a handgun on the side of the road, shooting into the ground, mm-hmm. to the grassy area. Uh, northbound at uh, point six, right hand side, males outside the vehicle. Burn flannel shirt and jeans. This is right near producer Riley and I's house, so this is pretty scary. Yeah, Salem, New Hampshire. It was right right there. So we, why was he shooting the gun? Um I'm not really sure. I think well he was hammered, so there's really not a oh. there's really not an answer to that. Well, you know, you know why, Bill? Live free or die, baby. Yeah, That's it's it, New baby. New Hampshire for heaven's <laughs> sakes. The dark side of live free or die. <laughs> Winnie, go. Oh say okay, so Girl Scouts helped a lost dog reconnect with its owner. That's so sweet of them in Nashville. Yeah, this is really cool. You know, they don't just sell cookies. They help people, too. We decided that we wanted to help animals. It's devastating for us to see the lost pet signs around our community. Selling cookies is, of course, really fun, but it feels great um, knowing that we helped a lot of lost animals. I just think it's really fun to get to hang out with, like, my best friends and do good things for our community. That's a good story. Yeah. Remember they came to your house, Billy? Remember that? That was a good time. You know what? I got news for you. I don't even like Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> you want me to All right, don't scream at me. I'm not going to be intimidated by a bunch of Girl Scouts. Okay, I can tell you that, okay? 
This discussion is oh, over. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have a bonus weird story. Can I throw this in? Yeah. Because I love dumb criminals so much. I mean, I used to be a dumb criminal. Yeah. I'm, I'm reformed now. But in Michigan, this motorcycle guy, um, we, you know, he was antagonizing police. I'm not really sure why. He was speeding. They tried to get him. He drove away. He was popping wheelies. And then he got caught. Why did he get caught? Well, he ran out of gas. He's trying to antagonize me. He's doing a wheelie on a freeway. Yeah, very nice. All right, he's crawling. I don't know if he ran out of gas or not. He might be out of gas. Looks like he's giving <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, they had the helicopter on him as well. They had the helicopter and oh the car, God. and he was just yeah, he, speeding off, flipping he, them off. He was literally out of gas. He, he literally went, ran out of yeah. gas. That no. happened to me one time. You ran out of gas running from the police? No, I was chasing after my ex-boyfriend. Oh, God. Oh, Wow, that's embarrassing. <laughs> was, that, was that a local or was that another state? No, that was in Dorchester. Yeah. Oh, and I'm sure the boyfriend never looked back. <laughs> he's, he's, hey, he's still running. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's in heaven now or somewhere. Oh. 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 Bless him. Oh, way to bring the run. Oh. Well, you, you asked. put him down? What? Did no, I didn't have anything oh, to do okay. with it. Oh, God. <laughs> Billy and Lisa in the morning just keep me laughing all the way to work. I love how everybody is truly themselves. Best show in Boston. Just one away. 